Hello, hope you are doing good. I'm your host Jason. In this video, I will be showing you how to make animated wedding invitation video in Canva. The first thing you want to do is create a Canva account. Once you have done that, I want you to tap on the search bar and you're going to type in wedding invitation video. So let's do that real quick. So we'll type in wedding invitation video and the reason why I recommend this is you'll be provided with numerous templates that you can edit. Even as a complete beginner, you'll be able to create a wedding invitation video that will look like it was created by a professional. You can see that they provide us with numerous templates that you can choose from. Keep in mind that the templates that has a pro sign or a dollar sign means that you'd have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use that particular template. But there are a few free templates that you can use. If you don't see a template that you like, you can simply tap on create blank. After tapping on create blank, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, we'll be provided with a blank canvas. And on the left hand menu option, right where you see design, you can see that we are provided with numerous templates that we can quickly edit and use. So let's say for example sake, we would like to use this template or you can use even this one if you want. So we'll simply tap on a template that we want to use. And then from there, we're going to tap on apply all five pages. After you have done that, you can change up the font style and text if you wanted to edit a template. So this with this, I'm showing you how you could edit a template. The first thing you can do right there, you could edit the font style by tapping on the text. Then from there, you can tap where you see Andesia and there you could change the font style. You can change the font size. You can change the font color. You can also change the animation effect. So for example, if I were to tap on play, you can see the animation right there. Another thing that you can also do if you would like to change the transition style, you can tap right in between each page and you will see the different transition options right there. So you can change the transition style if you want. Now to continue editing and adding your own photo or a photo of the couple, you can simply go over to the left hand menu option, tap on uploads, then you'll tap on upload files. And from there, you could upload a photo or video of the couple. So for example, if I were to tap on elements, then from here, I'm just going to type in couple and I'm going to be selecting videos and I'm just going to be adding one of these copyright free videos from Canva. So you can see they provide us with numerous videos that we can use. Let's say this one, all you need to do is drag and place it in the circle and you can see right there. After you have done that, you can continue editing. So we'll tap on page three. From here, you can change the date if you want. So you can tap right there. You could change the date. You can tap on the details page. And from here, you could fill in the location and rehearsal dinner and so on. After you're finished editing it to your liking, all you'll need to do now is simply carry the cursor to the first part of the page right here on the timeline. Then from there, you can tap on play. And if it is to your liking, you can simply tap on share in the top right hand corner, then scroll down, tap on download to download it. And if it is a case that you would like to change the audio, all you'll need to do is tap on the current audio on the timeline then tap on the three dots. After tapping on the three dots, from there you could tap on delete track. After deleting the track, you could go over to the left hand menu option, tap on uploads, then select upload files, and you could add your own audio. Or you can tap on elements from the top left hand corner. After tapping on elements, from there you can type in a genre of song that you'd like to use, then tap on audio and you'll be provided with some copyright free audio that you can use. So you can see the different options right here. Keep in mind that the options that you see with the crown 
that means that you would have to be a paid subscriber to use that particular one so you can type in so let's say for example we were to type in wedding then i'm going to tap up there and i'm going to select audio after selecting audio i'll scroll down and i'll see if i find any one that i can use so let's say for example this one and again you want to ensure that the cursor is at the first part of the video then from there you're just going to drag and place the audio as you can see right here or you can simply tap on the audio and it will be added and auto sync with the video as you can see there and if it is a case that you would like to add one more page you can simply tap on a plus that says add page and you'll be able to add a page keep in mind as soon as i tapped on add a page you can see that the audio was extended so it will be auto synced with your timeline as you can see here and to delete a page you'll tap on the three dots and then from there you can tap on delete page hope you found this video helpful and by the way to save it all you'll need to do is tap on share in the top right hand corner scroll down then tap on download after tapping on download you'll tap on download once more and from there you'll be able to download your wedding invitation video and you'll be able to share it with anyone and if it is a case that you would like to mix and match templates you can also do that so you could simply let's say for example you would like to use only a few pages from a template that i had selected so let's say we'd like to add a new page just for example sake and we'd like to add a page from other template we could simply go back and then from there let's say for example this template you could tap on it then you could select the page that you would like to add so let's say this page you could tap on a plus and you can see it right there and you that's how you'd be able to mix and match and add a page if you want so that's it hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe